Hey everybody, Commander Odd here. Welcome back to the ship. I am on top of the computer, which is not where I want to be. Uh, let's check our emails. So we've got a memento from Arya Talok. Shepard, I had Petrovsky's chessboard sent to the Normandy. It just doesn't go with the new decor I have planned for Afterlife. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. I'm not sure where it is. Probably in my quarters. Spectre status confirmed. Udina made an offer and I accept it. I'm a Spectre. I can't believe it. With everything falling apart, does this even mean anything? All the authority, resources, freedom, the whole scary package, but I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Come by the hospital if you get a chance. They're still keeping me here, but I'm planning on sneaking out soon. Okay. Well, we have a few things to do. If she's going to be there for a while, I don't think it's a huge rush. It looks like um, we have the ability to assist the mechanic from Omega, but I don't think we're going back there. So... Perhaps we'll go back at some point. I'm not sure. Maybe that'll be another Eden Prime thing where it's just stuck. We also have Irune uh, Benning, which is um, still kind of under development. And then some random Citadel stuff. We've got the Krogan DMZ. I'm not sure if we have access to that yet. But let's take a look at our map, see what's available. And then otherwise, we'll probably go to rendezvous with the Solarian ship and use a Normandy as neutral ground for the summit. Uh, but let's dive in and see. Actually, you know what? Commander. Let's just see. I want to go to the med bay first. Find every race that sat back while we bled and get some payback. Yeah. But I also want to just touch base with anybody on the ship. Yes, Commander. Okay, he's good. That's all. Of course, Commander. I do want to hit up the med bay to reassign my slam power because uh, I'm over it. Commander Shepard. I'm big time over it. Let's actually go see how Joker's doing. These guys are usually only chatty after the first, like after the main missions, but Edie. Oh, okay. Good. Yes, Shepard. Uh, I think we've covered all of this off. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. <laughs> it is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. Great. That was a joke. <laughs> She's coming around. This is good. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control oh. from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Her programmers were literally geniuses. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. 
When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. That's interesting. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. <laughs> Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. That's awesome. Commander. Okay, Joker, chatty as ever. That's fantastic. And now we are stuck here for some reason. Commander. Commander. Shepard, you are staring. We cannot move. So that's... Oh, here we go. There we go. Weird. So we'll touch base on our way to the med bay. Let's see if uh, anybody else has anything they want to chat about, but... Let's actually check the captain's cabin quickly. We'll see if that chessboard is here. Little space hamsters in there. Look at them. Squeak. Squeak. Beautiful. Give these guys a little extra fish or a little extra food. There's the chess. Oh, that's sick. That's really cool. Okay. Time to move on. We've got a galaxy to save here. It's just habitual, like, going into all of the rooms, even though it's a little unnecessary. Okay, reassign powers or reassign power bonuses? Uh, let's see. So I think this is what we want. So slam is what we have. Flare. Uh, focus and spend all biotic energy to unleash a huge flare that throws enemies within its range, causing massive damage. That sounds pretty cool. Let's do that. And then... Here... I'm not sure if I have to actually do anything... No, perfect, okay. So, remove slam, puts flare in its place. And... Let's see what we can do. Within its range, causing massive damage. Recharge speed. Damage and force. Impact radius? Hmm. Let's do impact radius here. Recharge speed. Or force damage and impact radius of combo detonations. Uh, let's do the recharge speed. Impact radius. And then damage onto shields and barriers. I like that. Beautiful. And then let's continue on assault mastery. Power damage and weapon damage, or force bonus and reputation bonus. Actually, I think I like that better. Let's do that. And looks like we have enough for one more. Squad mate power damage or weight capacity. Ooh, interesting. It's doubling our weight capacity. I think I'm actually going to do that. Which essentially to me is saying uh, faster recharge speeds. How's it going? Okay, it's going great, Garrus. That's fantastic. I don't think anybody's feeling like talking about Omega, so let's try one more place. If she's not talking Excellent to me, nobody find, is. Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. Oh, yeah? Okay, so we've got uh, advanced biotic implants. This advanced AMP is a sophisticated biofeedback system that interferes or interfaces with a set of armor's microcomputers. The AMP can be set to help streamline their use of biotic skills and combat powers or increase their damage instead. 
Let's grab it. And let's go for... I think recharge speed. And then weapons upgrade kit, ammo capacity or damage. Let's go with... Damage. Hello again. All right, so we've got a few more notes here in the broker's terminal, and then we're going to head out. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice us all without a thought if he could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because they, we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Call between Kasumi Goto and Professor S. Olausen. Hi, Professor. You know that one-of-a-kind point-to-point comm server you were talking about the other day? Do you have information on its whereabouts? I've got something better. Check your front door. But the server's locked in a Cerberus facility. Not anymore. This will be invaluable for the Crucible. Thank you, Miss Goto. You're the brilliant astrophysicist, Prof. Prof. I'm just a tech expert doing some odd jobs. By the way, you would not believe how many credits Cerberus leaves just lying around in the open. <laughs> Kaylee Sanders to Jack. Jack. Hey, Sanders. Checking on the kids. How are they, Jack? They'll do good. This is going to be long. I got some crap to do. I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing at Grissom. You can pick it up in the Citadel. Damn, one of the L3X1s? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed? I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hey, uh, thanks. And then email from Kaylee Sanders to David Anderson. You won't get this for a while unless you find an extra net connection working on Earth. I've made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology we've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. Give me hope. Alright. It's time to head out. So we've got the Diplomat, we also have this now, scan for Garneau, but we don't really want to do that. So it looks like nothing else has opened up to us. So let's head to the Annals Basin. Peito, carbonaceous asteroid, became notable for element zero deposits. Deposits which indicated it was an extrasolar capture were discovered by the Solarians shortly before they found the mass relay in the Pranesh system. Nothing really important. Okay, diplomatic ships of the Solarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for the negotiations. Oh, before now. Gotcha. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. Lovely. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Oh, Jesus. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. 
And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Yeah, but the problem is, is that, like, you didn't really think forward, few, like, you didn't really think forward, period. Um, these are people, too. Like, I, I disagree that they need to remain sterilized. Your people should have thought the matter through, then. Was it really a surprise that Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. Yeah, I kind of think it might not take that long. They invented it. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. <laughs> he was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. No way. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG Beautiful. bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries. Will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a council specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I normally like Solarians, but that one's a dick. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. So now you're dropping threats on my ship. Really? Really? Okay, who's coming out here? Let's take Garrus. You like Krogans. And Javik, actually, this would be really interesting because uh, I'd like to see his opinion on the Krogans. So let's take these two gentlemen. All right, so I'm happy with my uh, current weapon. I like the additional uh, recharge speed that we have now from the additional uh, weight ability. Weapon mods here for the eagle. Let's give you a second one. Oh, we can't. And you're good here for the particle rifle. Particle rifle here, and then Mantis. Enhanced scope three. Let's do that. Actually, because we have... Oh, we already have enhanced scope three on. So let's go... Armor piercing. Or uh, piercing mod, I should say. And Garrus... Got lots of work to do here. So, do we want to go power damage of squad mates or sniper rifle damage by 60? Let's go with squad mates because that helps me as well. And then we can go into. Hmm. Armor piercing ammo could actually be pretty good, but concussive shot I can control for you. Force and damage or impact radius. Let's take force and damage on this. Frozen targets. Let's take recharge speed. So you're set. And 
Javik. We've got Dark Channel pretty much maxed already. Let's go into your overall abilities. Power, health and shields. Health and shields, please. Power damage. And hold on to the rest. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. I get that. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold <laughs> a gun. He wouldn't be king then, would he? Who's that? It's my buddy Jav. He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Oh, look at that place. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatress authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Just hold on. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! <laughs> <laughs> we have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? Uh-oh, Rex is gonna get in trouble. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist you remain under guard. <clears throat> what happens if he comes with us? And if we insist otherwise? You'll have another war on your hands. Okay, well, we don't really want that. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. All right. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Jeez. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Brings back memories. They were much smaller in my cycle. <laughs> As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Such as? What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. <laughs> Rex. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yard specimen. Meet with Paddock Wicks when ready. Okay. So, 